Yo, happy Aloha Friday. Welcome to the EAP number 2.41. This is technically the fucking 94th episode, you guys, which is pretty sick. So six more episodes to the 100th, and I was doing the math because I'm smart. And um, that means December 23rd will be the 100th episode. That's the Christmas Eve almost episode. Eve, Eve, you know. So anyway, I don't know. I was just checking it out, and um, it's pretty cool. So getting close. Um, Happy Aloha Friday. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Watching, if you're watching. Look at the sign. Um, yeah, so we got some shows coming up. The Green, we will be playing in Kona on the 19th of this month, November 2022. And playing with Anuhea and some other amazing artists. Um, oh, shoot, I just saw, now that I think about it, off the top of my head, I just saw um, on Instagram, Anu posted that her dad passed away a couple weeks ago. So sending love to her and her family. Um um, but yeah, she will be out there with us, crushing it. Um, all kind, all kind of music that day, and um, so check it out, thegreen eight hundred eight dot com or Reggae on the Runway. That's what it's called. Kona show. Uh, like I said before, it's gonna be at the airport. Gonna be you know the old runway, not the, not the new airport, the old the old airport. Uh, they do all kinds of stuff over there. So um, yeah, we'll be in Kona. And I'm pretty stoked for that one. I love Kona. I wish we could spend a little more time. Just got like a day over there. So, you know, maybe some golf would be cool, but I don't know. Um, we also have that same weekend. So this is Saturday will be that show. And the Thursday, two days before that, is the Moani, the Green Breakfast Ball Golf Tournament. First annual. Um, out at Eva Beach Golf Club. That's Thursday, and fuck, I'm stoked for that. I honestly have not been playing um, golf. Fuck, I just played. Yeah, I just played two days ago, and um, not not the best, you know. Honestly, I've played two rounds of golf in like six months, and went to the range twice. So, you know, um, it's the game is a little rusty. So I've been trying to get ready for this tournament because fuck, I like represent. You know, for the green, um, and for myself, and for the explicit Aloha podcast. Um, no, uh, yeah, thank you guys for buying teams and any of you guys who bought sponsorships and and all that stuff. It it goes to a good cause. I know, I don't know how much of the proceeds. Um, I know there's definitely money going to um, our drummer's fam- family, Jordan, and um, to their family. Um, so thank you guys for that. Super excited. That should be fun. That should be just, you know, good day out there, Eva Beach. Um, so we'll see you guys over there. Um, speaking of Jordan, um, just sending sending my love to him and his family. We had the, um, that's Richard's Meat Market. They got that big chalk guy with the, with the little horn. Big chalk, small horn. Um, yeah, fuck. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can hear that. You probably can't even hear what's going on. There's action outside. Yeah, I'm at the studio in Kalihi. Anyway, um, what else, bro? What was I gonna say? Yeah. So Jordan, love, love to him. We were at um, Angeli's, um, you know, services, and it was beautiful. And we played a little bit. And I wanted to also send love to Bubba and the Rebel Soldiers. Those guys are just solid brothers and um, sending our love to them, too. That's that's their family. That's Bubba's family, too. So um, he's a huge part of, of everything. And I could tell when we were there that he was just a big part of, of making a lot of stuff happen and a lot of some fucking mean food, too. Thanks, Bubs, for that. And um, and the fan. Bro, thanks for the fan, because if you ever hear this, you'll know what I'm... We know what you <laughs> what you did. Um, it was hot in there. But anyway, um, and Johnny Sweet, um, Fia, Miley, um, you know, who who were there. And yeah, so, um, and Sister Eeps. But um, yeah, we we love you, Anju, and um, Jordan, and the, and the kids. We love you guys. So, so all of you guys, anyway, who did 
by teams or anything that you know sponsored or whatever for this uh, breakfast ball golf tournament thank you so it also goes to a, a beautiful family um i was thinking too on the way over here how about like all the mean they're like a mean cooking family too they're they're like a food family everyone they're like <laughs> Let's just say, like, every time we go to the mainland, there's one of the aunties that we always used to, like, look forward to getting food that she was going to make us pork adobo and her peanut butter cookies. Uh, Auntie Bridget. She she moved she moved uh, <laughs> away from there. I think we, we don't see her out there anymore. See her over here and stuff. But I'm um, sorry. I'm just rambling at this point. They just can they can just cook all of them. So, um, yeah, what what else is going on? Brothers and and sisters. Um, oh yeah, I got my little note thing over here. Um, how's this video thing working out? I don't know. It's all right, though. If you guys have any suggestions, I mean, obviously, the decor could be way better. It's sort of just whatever. Um, it's you know, it's this. And this is what it is. So if if you're listening to it, it's probably like better. Just listen. It, it doesn't look good unless you want to see my my pearly whites. They're not they're not pearly white. But anyway, um, yeah. So the tournament, I'm excited for that, and um, I'm gonna play a little music too. So that'll be good fun. I think there might even still be teams available for that tournament if you guys want to get in on that. So yeah, check that out. And um, you know what? That's pretty much it, bro. We got some shows. Um, like I said, the blue note. Uh, before I was saying that I got the dates wrong and we are playing on New Year's Eve so <laughs> you can just go to the Green 808 also and find out exactly what it is but yeah we're doing those um, and we also just announced Guam which I might have mentioned I don't know but we're going to Guam in early January and fuck I love Guam bro we've been going there since the beginning of the Green it was one of the first places we traveled to and Ikaika and I had actually been there before that with Humble Soul and THC, so kind of fell in love with that place in a lot of ways. And um, the Calibus family, they're from there, you know, up in Sac now, but, um, you know. So anyway, uh, we'll be in Guam. Stoked for that. That should be fun. Bro, Guam is funny because we fly Hawaiian Airlines, right, because we fly so much, it's like we get the baggage free, and it's like, saves us thousands of dollars so the flights um guam though is it is it hawaiian airlines now that i think about it, it might not even be hawaiian airlines it might be delta or united or something like that I don't, i'm not even sure but i know that the flights are limited whatever airline it is there's only one in like early in the morning coming home from guam so if we play one of the shows you know we fly up at, at whatever time we get there early from Hawaii, we go and do the show that night. If if we want to leave the next day, um, you know, then pr pretty much the only flights home are early in the morning. So you can s you can stay another day if you don't want to leave too early. But if you're gonna leave the very next morning, you have to stay up all night basically because the, the airport call time is like four or five in the morning, and you know you could you could get a little nap in. Sure, that happens, but I mean, come on, bro. You know, so you just um, you end up staying up all night. And there's been a, f a few times where we've been at the airport, just just total, just wrecked, so tired. And some of us, fuck, you know, probably a little hungover or drunk still, um, to be honest. But not usually, because in that situation, you kind of have to like, I mean, maybe in the early days, you know, but for definitely for the last few years, uh, or a few times that we've gone there, we've been smart about it. Because you got a plan for that flight. It's fucking nuts. And the thing about Guam, too, is that they are, what, 23 hours ahead? I think it's 23 hours ahead of Hawaii, their, their time. So there was this one time where we were there, and it was Jordan's birthday. And when we got to Guam, we stayed just one day. We did the show overnight and like i said we left first thing in the morning we're at the airport just dying i have pictures of jordan asleep in a sitting in a wheelchair in the airport just passing out <laughs> and um so 
it's his birthday, right? The 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 show day, right? Yeah, the show day is his birthday that night, and we play for his birthday and have a great show. And then the very next morning, we're dying. We fly home, and but technically, it's it's the it's the day after his birthday when we leave Guam, but when we get back to Hawaii, because it's twenty three hours behind. It's still fucking Jordan's birthday, so he gets to have like kind of <laughs> a Guam birthday and then like a a real Hawaii birthday, but they're both actually his real birthday. So this is a fucking weird one, um, you know. Whatever. So anyway, that's um that's the Guam fucking conundrum. What do you do with the flight? Um, maybe that'll be the the title of this episode: the Guam conundrum. Um, although that might just, I don't know, throw people off. Uh, fuck, I love it. It's it's hot as fuck over there. You guys, it's it's warm, but fucking people are warm too. They're beautiful and sweet and kind. It's just like old school Hawaii kind of. Um, it's definitely some areas where it's like just like Hawaii, you know, little uh, rundown and ghetto-ish and city and seedy, you know, but it's a, it's a lot more, um, I mean, there's, there's it's just fucking big piece of land that's just kind of flat you know <laughs> there's some mountains and stuff but get choke mana over there too first trip we had um with thc humble soul was pretty mean had some had some cool moments um just hiking and stuff and yeah so anyway we are doing some shows and um the new year's coming thanksgiving is coming all oh, that's thanksgiving and coming whatever i just said um so yeah uh that's it bro that is it thank you guys for listening for tuning in happy law friday we'll see you next week okay shoots aloha